Let's just come in here then. Supplies. The food storage seems to have been disturbed recently. No one in the party would have done this, so there must be some other explanation. I examine it. There are no half-eaten or torn packages, so it's not pests or vermin. So it seems like a person has been stealing our supplies. And they've avoided detection, obviously. Um, let's search the ship. I think this is what you're supposed to do. Sort of run around places. I'm not sure. Hmm. Ah, here we go. Soft patter of footsteps behind me. Really? And again. Let's carry on. And you just have to go around and follow these footsteps, and of course it leads you right back to where you started from. Kipuna, bona na kichu. And it's this Sasha girl who we told who we were told has gone missing um, by that dude on Dantween just before we left. And she's got the same voices like random Twi'lek women. Mm. Selima Wanga Kunbiking. Kipuna, Bona Nakichu. Selima Wanga Kunbiking. I doubt this is going to work, but. Dong Abuk Shami no Nok. Okay. Okay. And does she just go? And she just disappears. Ho ho! So that's that quest complete, dark side style. What the hell is that? What is happening to T3? Oh god, what? What? Oh, my camera's still inside my face. Oh, this game is glitching out. What is that all about? That's really not important, but I don't like it. It's kind of got... Is that... Is that T3's textures? That's weird. Anyway, that Sasha girl. If you're doing it the light side, you have to talk to her a whole bunch and it's really annoying and you've got to try and figure out what she's saying and learn her language however she's speaking and you have to talk to her and find out who she is so we kind of already knew who she is and then we have to persuade her to go back home and then you go back to Dantooine and you talk to that Twi'let guy at the Enclave and then you persuade him to come back onto the ship and take her away. But telling her to go away is a whole lot easier. Well, that's saved annoyance. Bastolo we're definitely taking. And, well, we've never used her before, so I will take Juhani and level her up. Oh yay, the Zerka Corporation. These douchebags. Oh no. A hundred credit docking fee. I'm 
hoping for a force persuade here. Force persuade. <laughs> the force should not be used for profit and personal gain. As Jedi, we should be above such things. I'm quite obviously evil, so I don't need to care about her telling me off. That's cool, I can just use all my force persuades and not care. Uh, go away, you Thorians. What is it? Juhani. Um, Juhani again. It's pretty much like Bastila. Just give her awareness and treat injury. Feats, she... Now this is weird. She doesn't have flurry. But in that battle with her on Dantooine, she was using flurry. She does have flurry at that point. But we want flurry. Because flurry's cool. Um... I guess I'll give a cure. Someone else to cure is decent, I guess. Juhani isn't very good for force powers, I believe. She's just not particularly good, so it doesn't really matter. Honestly. She's better for feats. Um, one point. Uh, strength, I guess. She's a good tanky kind of character, so... You know, just give her power and feats. Force powers aren't really important. Well, guess I'll give her that then. Yes? Yeah, why not? Hmm. Proof conditioning. Um, give her improved toughness. What's this for shield? Oh, stasis. Whirlwind stasis. Go for stasis then. Um, I don't know. Throw a lightsaber. Okay. Whatever. And there we go. Level 10. Not bad. <laughs> um, I guess I need to equip stuff on her, don't I? She already has a lightsaber. A blue lightsaber. She has her own Jedi Knight robes. Which is kind of an orangey looking kind of robes, but with my modded Jedi robes that are red. I don't have anything else for her. Well, I guess I'll give her an Achani shield, or shall I? Well, I'll definitely give her a Mandalorian melee shield, because they're very good. What's a man? Eh, just give her a regular. Whatever. Reflex, fortitude, strength, fortitude. Well, that's very good. Give her a power belt for now. What am I wearing? 
Uh -huh. I'll have that. Thank you. Stabilizer gauntlets. Hmm, useless. She can have a verpine headband. And she can't wear implants. Very well. Yes? So next, I guess we just have to head down this way.